most amazing top tenors, how are you honeys doing today? Fantastically I hope, I'm Rebecca Felgate and you requested it, so it's happening. Here we have the meanest YouTube comments part 6. Listen, trolls absolutely suck, they're idiots, they really really are. The purpose of these videos is not to glorify the trolls, but to show you that literally every single person on YouTube gets hate, and that it's really nothing to worry about, as these buffoons are not even original, they're merely attention seekers. To differentiate our trolls leaving mean comments, today we are talking exactly about hate directed at people who have been injured, which is pretty low. In at number 10 we have post accident hate to Tanner Fox. Teenage YouTuber Tana Fox just got into a car accident during which he broke his leg and split his chin. In a video uploaded to his channel called The Day I Should Have Died, Tana goes into detail about the events of the crash which sound really horrible. Unfortunately one viewer had absolutely zero sympathy and wrote this. This is why retarded 16 year olds shouldn't drive a f***ing GTR pussy ass kid. Delightful. Perhaps someone is just a tiny little bit jealous of his success. I don't know. In at number 9 we have death for exclamation point yt. YouTube channel exclamation point yt used to be run by best buds Paul Zimmer and Danny Edge. Paul got into an accident on a ride at a state fair and was taken away in an ambulance. Somebody basically recorded some footage of the ambulance with Paul in it and then it was uploaded to their channel. Anyway, some absolute original twazuk wrote I hope you die. From hate to Paul to hate to Danny in at number 8, we have the time Danny got hate after a piercing was ripped out of his face by a fan. It was an accident though. Don't worry. In a video, Dan talks about his most recent injury when he got his eyebrow piercing stuck in a fan sweater. Blood, blood everywhere. One viewer retorted, You're so fing gay. Excellent feedback. Play nice, kids. Another driving injury up next at number 7. One guy made the headlines in 2015 when he videoed himself being cut out of a car wreck by fire crew following a crash in Victoria, British Columbia in Canada. Andrew McDonald can be seen with a bloody face trying to be positive while he is being rescued. It's very dramatic. One viewer simply wrote, what a f***ing retard. I mean, that's mean. Next up at number 6, YouTuber Luna talks about the time he was stabbed by a girl aged just 12. Luna has over 1 million subscribers and uploaded a video called I got stabbed in block capitals because YouTube. Luna was stabbed in the hand with a rudimentary weapon fashioned from some perspex. Nightmare! Well I guess one viewer gave absolutely zero f's about the whole situation as they wrote snitches literally get f***. Stitches. More apathy towards stabbing up next, and uh oh, we have the butthole trolls at number five. Small scale YouTuber Cy Mike also uploaded a video called I Got Stabbed, during which he shares a slightly harrowing experience from school. Despite sharing with his audience, for some reason, and I don't really know why, a lot of his viewers have left him a comment simply to say butthole. Like, what? Is there something I'm missing? Ok so this is where things turn quite nasty. Injuries are usually very visible however not all of them can be seen. There are some wounds that are emotional and some pain that will be just as strong as a broken leg but people can't see it. I am of course talking about a broken heart and this is the kind of pain that Colleen Ballinger was feeling at number 4 as her marriage broke down. Uploaded to her YouTube channel Psycho Soprano, Colleen shared an emotional video called A Life Update. In this video she talks about her split with her husband. Joshua Evans. The last thing you need when your life is literally falling apart is someone being all preachy straight up in your grill. Nonetheless, from someone who probably is a perfect stranger to Colleen, we had a comment that reads, you exchange vows, until death do you part. This means dying, you do not do this. Not even a year later and you guys are showing how little your words actually mean. Your word is all you have and now we see your value. Sad. Oh, I mean, that cuts like an absolute knife. Like, chill out, person that doesn't know Colleen. Worse still, we have hate for a victim of abuse up next at number 3. YouTuber Stepanka uploaded a video in November 2015 called I Was Raped on Prom Night. In this video, she said she was sexually abused after getting very drunk and passing out following her prom. She said she remembers someone putting their hands down her pants and then waking up in a hot tub. Her friend then later found a condom and she was the only other female present. Whatever happened, Stepanka doesn't deserve nasty comments like this. Clearly you were not raped, you were drunk and horny, you more than likely tried to f*** 
fuck him. But because you're supposed to be a lady, like for your followers, you put it on him and make yourself the victim so you can have someone throw you a pity party and get spoiled. Oh yeah, your dumb check name doesn't mean anything. Crikey, I mean that's just a bit brutal isn't it? Who are you to judge? Friend. Next up, we have abuse for a girl whose mother was diagnosed with cancer. Brianna Jones Chase uploaded a video called My Mum Has Cancer, which is absolutely heartbreaking. Brianna listens to a voice message left by her mum where she reveals the news. She also intersperses later conversations throughout the video. There is also a lot of footage and images of her mum prior to her diagnosis with breast cancer. Like, I can't even, this makes me so sad. Someone left her a message to say, I can't wait till she f***ing dies. I mean, what a troll. Okay, so we are here. We are caught between a vile mix of racism and HIV hate. In at number one, we have trolling of HIV sufferer Maria Mejia. Maria uploaded a video called I Have HIV in which she talks about her troubled childhood. She was infected at 16 by the leader of a gang she joined when she escaped her abusive home. Maria goes on to discuss the stigmas of the disease and living with HIV, including the perils of taking daily medication. Maria is both brave and frank and should be condemned for talking so candidly to raise awareness for the disease. Some little gutter troll however decided to emerge from the sewer to say, and I bet every single one of your boyfriends is a cholo, and you wonder why your life is the way it is. I mean, I don't even know what to say about that, like, no. What an absolutely horrible human. So, what a top 10. I really think this should be the last meanest YouTube comments for the sake of my sanity. Please, just give me some unicorns. I really don't like making them, I just want happiness. However guys, just remember, the world is filled with nasty trolls who want to steal your love and light. They're hiding in dark corners and they want to feed on your joy. Just don't let them. They are dicks and you are great. Don't be a troll, be a fabulous major babe instead and I promise you, your life will be so much better. Better. I'm Rebecca Felgate. This has been Most Amazing Top 10. If you guys want to leave some happy, positive comments down below, then I will try and respond to as many as I can. If you're thinking about being a troll though, don't even bother. I'll be too busy having a fabulous life to respond to you. If you like this video, make sure you give it a good thumbs up, share it with a friend, and of course, subscribe to Most Amazing Top 10. And I will see you beauties next time.